If you're looking to work better, faster, stronger in Airtable, look no further than this video. I'm going to be going through my favorite keyboard shortcuts that are going to get you using the software more quickly, more efficiently. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, check out our website. I will include a link below and don't miss our free Airtable crash course. It's going to get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. But without further ado, let's jump into the heart of this video. We are talking about how to use keyboard shortcuts inside of Airtable. Now, first and foremost, I want to just point out that, I mean, I've built a very simple database. It's, it's not even complete here, uh, but we're going to be demonstrating some different keyboard things that you can do. But I think the most important thing to know just in starting off is that the keyboard shortcuts in Airtable are following the same rules as a lot of other softwares. Specifically, if you're familiar with keyboard shortcuts in Excel or just even navigating the, uh, the internet, you know, those kinds of keyboard shortcuts are most of the time going to pertain to this as well. So things like uh, holding down control and hitting the down arrow, it's going to always take you to the bottom of, you know, the bottom record of data in, in your Airtable database. Just as if you use that same shortcut in Excel, it would have taken you there. Similarly, if you hit control Z, right, that's like a standard command for undo. That kind of stuff is going to work here in Airtable as well. So those kinds of things, if you're looking for, you know, really standard, just like basic navigation, I'm not going to be deep diving on those. I really want to highlight those things that are unique just to Airtable. And so the first one I'm going to start off with is how to quickly and easily change your base from just a couple of, you know, button pushes just from your keyboard. You can hold down control and hit the letter K. And as you see on my keyboard, it automatically asks you what base you want to jump to. So let's suppose that I had another example database that I wanted to jump into. In this case, maybe my example automation webinar base. And I just type a few letters of that base and I can click it. And just like that, I'm in that base. This is a huge time saver. You, it means that you don't have to stop what you're doing, open up a new window, open up a new database, et cetera, et cetera. We can just really quickly control K and start typing the name of the base. So if I want to go back to our uh, keyboard shortcuts, there it is. I don't even have to take my hands off the keyboard and I can navigate from one base to another. So if you did not already know that and you're looking to jump from database to database as you're working, don't want to miss out on that one. All right. Another one to know is that you can automatically sort your records with a keyboard shortcut. That shortcut is control shift and S as in Sam. If you are to hold those three buttons or hold down control and shift and hit the letter S, it's going to pop up automatically as it just did on my screen with what sorts do you want to apply to this view using the down arrow or enter and then the down arrow. I can then select a field and choose which, you know, if any fields I want to sort by, let's say I wanted to sort by the status field. I would just hit enter. And once I'm done, I can put in as many different sorts as I'd like, but once I'm done hitting escape and you see that that sort keeps, right? It, it, the integrity of the sort is still in place. So I don't have to do anything. I don't have to save anything. It just happens automatically. So again, that is control shift S. It's going to open up that sub menu and allow you to navigate through your sort. Now, one other thing, kind of a bonus on this control shift S is that you see that I'm navigating, uh, this highlight through these different parts of this sub menu. I'm doing that by the common, uh, you know, common internet, uh, technique of just hitting tab to cycle forward. Or if I want to cycle backward, I hold shift and tab. And so in order to cycle through these different things, you, you know, again, without leaving the keyboard, uh, you can keep your hands, you know, where they are and not need to go pick up the mouse and you can kind of navigate through these things so that you can get, you know, flipping through Airtable more quickly. Again, once I'm at the point where I'm done with that subgrouping, all I have to do is hit escape to get rid of it. And whatever sorts I've already set it set in there are going to uh, remain. All right. Another one that I absolutely have to mention is how to flip through tables without picking up the mouse, right? So again, hands on keyboard. Let's talk about it. 
hitting control and the letter J is going to bring up a little sub menu here that says find a table. And if we have so many tables that it actually takes a while to kind of scroll through them, we can actually type out the table name or alternatively, we can use the arrow keys up or down to find the table key that we're looking for. And then once we found it, hitting enter and it's going to just open up that other table. So again, control J, toggle down or uh, move up and down with your arrow keys and hit enter. Again, if you don't want to move up and down, uh, the faster way to do it is to just put in some text. In this case, I just typed the number one uh, because it was unique to this table. And then so now that's the only table available for me to pick. So really quick, almost as almost as vital, if not more vital, maybe than flipping through different bases quickly, right? So flipping through bases, flipping through tables, do it all without moving your hands. All right, another big one is the viewfinder or the view switcher. Over on the left hand side of my screen here, I'll use my mouse. You see that I've got my views kind of locked in place. Now I know that Airtable for a while was kind of testing this and some people had it, some people didn't. And there seemed to be a little bit of back and forth in regards to if it was consistent across the board. My understanding is that now this is in fact consistent that everybody uh, has this view toggle on the side and you know by clicking with our mouse of course we can collapse that sidebar which gives us more visibility into our data uh, when we don't need to be flipping through views but of course there are times where you will want to flip through your views so isn't it nice that there's a keyboard shortcut this keyboard shortcut is control shift and the letter K and as you see as I've done here by pushing the, that uh, combination of keys it pops open that sidebar and we can scroll through different views. So just as we could with our tables, we have the opportunity to kind of, you know, uh, run up and down through our different views and select the one we want. So to showcase that, let me really quickly just create a couple of different views. I'm going to duplicate these views. And now that we have three different views, I've got the original, a copy and the copy of the copy. So uh, looking at that keyboard shortcut, again, control shift K, it's gonna bring it up here and we can just, you know, up and down, find the view we want, hit enter once we found it. And again, just as we could before, you can also type in there and put in, you know, the name of the view you're looking for and kind of, you know, streamline the process so you don't have to scroll through as many things. All right, those are the top tips from me on keyboard shortcuts. The only other thing I do wanna point out, well, two more things. One is control Z and control Y are your friends in Airtable. If you make a mistake, you do something you didn't intend to do. The first thing I always do is just hit control Z. If I accidentally create a record or something like that, control Z and it eradicates that thing. All right. Because it undoes the, the action. So if you are, uh, you know, prone to doing things like that, uh, like I tend to be, just, you know, don't be afraid to, uh, to really lean on that. Now, the only side note here is if that triggered an automation, it's not going to undo the automation, right? So if, if an action you took triggered an automation, then the automation is still doing whatever it was going to do. But control Z will remove the, uh, record or whatever data, uh, you, you, or, or even, you know, if you can, if you created a new field or a table by accident or these kinds of things, they can all be undone by control Z. The last thing I want to point out is where to find more information on shortcuts. Airtable actually publishes this. So in the upper right corner of your screen, you can hit this question mark or this help bar, and it's going to open up the uh, options for the help center. The third one down is all about keyboard shortcuts. So check that out for yourselves and see if there's one in here that I didn't even mention that you just love. Uh, you know, the truth of it is you can uh, find a lot of this stuff, as I mentioned earlier, is very similar to Excel, but there are a lot of things that are unique to Airtable. So uh, go through that and, and start using those things. There are a bunch here. Obviously, I only talked about my, my top few favorites. So there's a lot here to, to take a look at. But the more you can keep your hands on your keyboard and not have to kind of cycle through keyboard and mouse, the faster you'll be in Airtable and ultimately the more time you'll save and the less time you'll be working. So hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know what your favorite keyboard shortcuts are below. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. 
We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you.